It's about as open as open space gets, 1,400 acres in the middle of Orange County. It used to be part of the El Toro Marine Base, which was decommissioned in 1999. Back then, some Orange County political and business leaders wanted to turn the site into a commercial airport. However, they ran into fierce opposition from South County, whose leaders had an alternative vision, a great park, a regional attraction that would rival San Diego's Balboa Park or even New York's Central Park. The park idea won out, and in 2005, the Navy sold the base to a coalition headed by home builder Lennar. Lennar turned over 1,400 acres for the park, along with $200 million in development fees to jumpstart the park. After a delay of more than two years because of the severe recession, a Lennar affiliate Five Point Communities is building the first of thousands of homes planned for the commercial portion of the land. As for the park, the $200 million is now down to about $50 million, and critics contend there's little to show for it. Todd Spitzer was a county supervisor during the El Toro Airport battle and one of the leading airport opponents. He returned to the Board of Supervisors this year and is now an outspoken critic of what has become or not become of the shuttered marine base. We gave Irvine that 1,400 acres and said be good stewards and make something happen. We told the voters it would be a great park. Then you fast forward to 2012 and 2013 and I'm just beside myself that the way the great park has basically uh, advanced is a balloon, a merry-go-round, and a palm court. And I think $220 million for that little showing is not su it's sufficient enough to satisfy what the voters said when they approved the, the great park. Criticism of the park centers on the tens of millions of dollars that have been spent on consultants, planners, architects, and public relations. A Los Angeles Times investigation reported that of the $200 million that has been spent on the park, only $38 million has gone for actual construction. Jeff Lalloway is an Irvine City Council member who side won last November's election. Lalloway and his allies have wasted no time undoing much of what went on before at the Great Park. They've ordered a forensic audit of park expenditures and removed appointed directors from the Great Park Board, giving total control of the park to the five-member Irvine City Council, and they've terminated consultants. We eliminated two large contracts at the Great Park, uh, Ford and Mulrick uh, public relations contract, totaling at presently about $900,000 a year, which used to be about $1.2 million a year. And we also eliminated a, a lobbying contract. Total, we eliminated about $1.1 million uh, of, of consulting fees. The moves eliminated years of work and business relationships put in place by the Agron majority. Agron is a Berkeley and Harvard graduate, lawyer and political activist who ran a long shot campaign for president back in 1992. However, Irvine has been his passion and he makes no apologies for it. Well, I was very disheartened to see our, uh, our very own supervisor, Todd Spitzer, come to the last city council meeting, frankly make a fool of himself by declaring that um, and defending his goofy idea that if somehow the Irvine City Council didn't do a better job in delivering the Great Park, that he was going to sponsor a countywide initiative for the county to take over the property. Todd Spitzer needs to do his job and not engage in these kinds of self-serving fantasies about the county somehow delivering a Great Park. They had their chance and they, uh, they're not to be given another chance. As for Lalloway, Agron has a message. It's time to stop criticizing and to put up. This is something of a power play on the part of the new majority. They clearly now, with three votes, will have control of the five-member board of directors of the uh, Orange County Great Park. Let's see how they do. Agron also has harsh words for most of the media, saying they have sought to stir up controversy and have failed to present the public with the facts. And the facts, he says, are that there has been a lot of construction at the park. Tons of construction, in fact. Yes, there's a much lampoon balloon and merry-go-round and palm court. However, there's also an associated arts complex, a venue for performing arts and visual arts. There's a restored military hangar and historic landmark. There is the North Lawn with a picnic area and a terrace lawn. And there's a farming operation out here too, with a 100-acre farm of permanent agriculture and a special laboratory. And there are also the various classes and a farmer's market every Sunday and an antique show on Sundays. And Agron says more is on the way. This summer in 2013, we're going to have the South Lawn, which includes four tournament-quality lighted soccer fields, two of them with artificial turf, 
uh, outdoor athletic facilities of all kinds, including uh, giant chess. We're also going to have a new visitor's center, a permanent visitor's center, and a reflecting pond and a viewing pier. Agron says if there really wasn't anything out here, like his critics claim, folks wouldn't be flocking to the Great Park. We have about a million visitors a year to the Great Park. It's the most heavily visited park in all of Orange County. I'm very proud of that, and that's just in a few years' time. Obviously, they're going out there for a reason. Agron is also unapologetic about the Great Park's most ridiculed arrangement, the just terminated public relations contract with a political consulting company, Ford and Mulrick. The contract, which was given to the company year after year without competitive bidding, was widely criticized as a political payoff. Agron says that's absolutely ludicrous. They have served us ably from 1999 forward. It was their strategic planning that enabled us to defeat the airport. It was their strategic planning that led to Measure W and the complicated uh, initiative that uh, brought that land ultimately to the city of Irvine, wrested it away from the county. If Ford and Mulrick has done such great work as you say, why do you believe it's sort of been dubbed the poster child of government waste and excess spending? Well, there's a concerted effort out there by political opponents to denigrate uh, everything that I and Beth Crom and, of course, uh, Suki Kang uh, managed to achieve over the course of 12 years. I'm beside myself about it. I'm, I'm incredibly frustrated, and I plan to do something about it.